So now let's talk about audit logs. This is something that we're really, really excited to unveil today. So what are audit logs? This is a way for IT admins to see exactly what's happening and look at all the actions that were taken by users within a certain context. You've probably seen this out there uh, in this example, uh, when you go to GitHub and you navigate to one of your organizations, depending on the permissions that you have, you're able to see everything that happened in that organization. You can see what are the users and what they are doing. You have timestamps about every single action that they did. You know when they did it, but also where they did it. And you can see like geographically speaking when that where that action was taken. You can see specifically the different resources that action was affected by as well. So it's a way for IT admins to have the, the sort of control that they need. And if they, are, if they need to export that information uh, to have uh, an even deeper audit, they're able to do this as well. So this is an extremely important feature for companies that want to become enterprise ready because it enables um, these departments to have the, the visualization that they need. So we're introducing two concepts um, in terms of the, the APIs that we are offering to you. One of them is audit logs, the audit logs API, and the other one is log strings. They have a pretty strong uh, relationship, but they are independent. You can use either one uh, in different use cases if needed. So with audit logs, you have a way to not only ingest events, but also export them. And we're providing users with two different UIs to view those events. One of them is the WorkOS dashboard, and the other one is the admin portal, where your enterprise customers can go and see the logs by themselves. So again, we're enabling that self-service uh, experience for your end users. And with log streams, this is an API that you can use to leverage the existing audit logs that you have and stream those events to a third-party provider. So if you need to send those events to Splunk or Datadog or any other um, audit log provider, you are able to do, uh, to do it using that API. Okay, let's see how this works. So imagine we have app one and this app needs to register every single event from every single user in this app. So they can use the audit log API to trigger those events, and we're gonna store them in a database and make them available in the WorkOS dashboard and in the WorkOS admin portal too. Now imagine app two. Now this app, they already have a database and they already are storing all these events uh, that users are, are doing, but they need a way to move those events to another system. So they can use the Logstream API and pump that data to these third-party providers like Splunk, AWS, and Datadog. And those two services by themselves uh, is already going to add a lot of value, but you can put them together and imagine having your enterprise customers, the IT admins that are working uh, for these big companies, and they go to the admin portal and they enable the log streams by themselves. And that's an extremely powerful uh, solution and it's going to enable um, them to, to have that self-serve experience without having to create a ticket, request you to do that work and then allocating resources to, to do that work. So really excited about uh, the power that this is going to provide. On top of all this, we are making a schema validation to make sure that the data that you're sending is has the highest quality possible. We, we truly believe that strongly typed metadata for all log events lead to a much, a much better uh, database structure and also a much cleaner experience in terms of the data that you're storing. So what WorkOS is going to do is that we're going to validate the events before they are sent and we're going to validate the event like the top level object but also the actor who triggered the event and the target objects that 
these events are being affected by. So let's take a look um, at how this works in practice. Here, if you're familiar with uh, the WorkOS SDKs, you probably know like you need to import the, the WorkOS library, you need to instantiate using your API key. And then here is an example of the WorkOS um, API and how you can use the other logs to create a new event. So we can see that there's a new action that is occurring. We can see the actor object and all the information related to it. There's a type on each one of those actors. That could be a user, that could be a system level actor, and there's a metadata associated with it. And within that object, you have the freedom to add all the information that you need to store. Uh, we also have the target, you know, what is exactly the type of resource that this actor is uh, acting upon. So uh, this can be anything, any type of uh, target, and you can create like a video or like a post, like whatever the resource is, you can define uh, the, the type of that uh, resource and, and, and create a schema for it too. So here's an, an anatomy of that object. We have targets and actors. Those are strongly type. And the lines that are uh, highlighted over here are the lines that we can uh, provide you with the, the flexibility to either add more metadata to the actor or on the second highlight, you can see the metadata in the event object. And more on the bottom, you can see the metadata in the target itself. So uh, we're gonna validate that before the event is sent. So you can ensure that you have a clean database of events that you can always trust. Now, to give you a demo about this, I'm gonna hand it over to Patrick where he's gonna explain and show us audit logs in practice. My name is Patrick, and I'm a product designer here at WorkOS. As we've heard from many of you, enterprises who've adopted features like single sign-on also often require a solution for audit logging. That's why I'm really excited to share with you today what we've been working on for audit logs. Let's get started by setting up audit log events in the WorkOS dashboard. You'll see that I currently don't have any events defined, so let's add some events that I want my audit log to capture from my app. The first thing that I have to do is create an event. I'll give it an action title, which is the name that my app uses to refer to this event. Next, I'll add some target types. These are the objects in my application that this event specifically targets. Finally, Let's add some schema validation so that when my app sends instances of this event to the audit log API, we can validate that the metadata is typed and structured correctly. For this purpose, we've created a new schema editor. In this editor, we show you the complete JSON schema for each event object, but only certain areas are editable. Within the editable sections, we can add metadata objects containing the properties that we want to validate. You can add custom metadata schema to the top event level, the actor level, and the target level. Let's add a username property to the actor object and give it a type of string. Once we've added validation for our metadata, we can save the schema and return to the event editor. Now that we have some events defined and target types associated, let's see what it looks like when my app is actually sending audit log events. As you can see, there are now events coming into WorkOS from my app with various actions and targets associated with them. We've also created a robust set of filters that allow you to quickly narrow down your data set by actor, action, and date. For now, Let's inspect an event to get more details. 
In this new event viewer, you can see the actual event object with some metadata. You can also navigate through each piece of metadata and see its corresponding definition inside the object. This is really handy for developers and support teams, but what about your enterprise customers? We've also created a new view inside of our admin portal just for them. Enterprise customers will get access to the same type of UI that we show inside the dashboard, but like the rest of the admin portal, it can be customized to fit your app's branding and your own domain name. One common requirement for enterprises is the capability to stream logs to a third-party service. And for this, we've created a self-serve setup flow right in the admin portal. If you've used our single sign-on or directory onboarding flows, this should look very familiar. Your enterprise customers can set themselves up for streaming their audit logs directly from the admin portal to a provider of their choice. I hope you enjoyed this preview of audit logs, and I'm looking forward to showing you more as this feature approaches a beta release. Thank you so much, Patrick. So if you want to start using this API, please get in touch with us so you can get more information about it. And as a recap, this is a way for you to ingest and export events. We give you a strongly typed interface that you can validate your schema, and it also allows you to stream data to third-party providers using this single adapter. Uh, so we're re really excited about that too.